Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to this video. I know I don't look fresh. I it's very late right now. It's almost nine o'clock at night, and I can't wait to film this video. I went over to Kicks today and bought the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I can't wait to try this and play with it. So I do have to take off this makeup and just start with this palette. But before we do, if you want to see how this palette looks and how I create an interesting makeup look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so let me take out this. When I saw the picture of this palette on Instagram, I immediately fell in love because I love ocean. I love this kind of texture, this kind of shades. I think it's a stunning palette. And when I, they released the shades, I mean, I knew that I had to buy it. Buy it. I have all of the Anastasia Berry Hills palettes and of course I can't go and not buy this one. That's strange for me. I do collect eyeshadow palettes. And this is, I don't remember being this excited about the palette. And I think, uh, think it looks so, so beautiful. I did, and it looks more stunning in real life than on the picture. The outside packaging, the texture is a little bit different than the others. It feels like a material and I love this shade but it's going to get dirty very fast. Let's see, here is the palette. I mean, it's, it's the most beautiful palette I've ever seen in my life and I think it looks stunning. This looks stunning. Oh, I almost dropped the brush. I love these brushes though. It looks stunning. I can't wait to play with it. Really, really, I can't wait to play with it. I think this looks amazing. I don't know which makeup look I will do. I'll, I think I'm going to go in uh, these gray and bluish shades because I did create a couple of pink makeup looks with other palettes. But if you're interested to see the pinks, please let me know. I will definitely do a makeup look with that. But right now, I think I want to use this blue, this one, and this gray because it's lo it looks stunning. Uh, I think they did an amazing job creating this, and I love, love, love this blue shade, purple blue shade. I watched a couple of reviews, and I know people said that this felt or looked cheap. Doesn't look cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. It actually looks very expensive. I like it a lot. I love the packaging. I love everything about this palette. So I'm going to remove all of this makeup and start to play with this palette. So if you're interested to see that, I know I already said this once, but let's zoom you in and keep watching. As my primer today, I'm going to use this Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. And I did review this on my channel once and I don't really like using it as a base, not because it's not good, it's a very good primer. For eyelid, but it does crease on me after a couple of hours. But I am going to use it today because I'm not going to wear this makeup look for many hours because it, because it's already very late. But I just want to make sure that the eyeshadow has a little bit of a sticky base. We want a nice smooth base for these eyeshadows. And I don't expect this to be less powdery than the others. I know that Anastasia's eyeshadow palettes are powdery and I don't mind. So that is why I'm not going to do my face makeup. So now we primed our eyes and I'm not going to set it. But let's, well, I'm so scared to kind of make it dirty this palette. Let's go into this and actually I want to take this state, this shade here with a big fluffy blending brush. And actually I'm going to use the brush that comes with this palette. Yes, it's powdery. Oh, take away the mirror. 
it's gone. I want to have this just like a base. I really like this estate shade. So almost like my own skin color, but not really. I, like I want to go into coastline, this shade here that looks a little bit peachy and pop that into make oh my god this is a beautiful shade oh i really really want to play with the pink one too but um it's going to wait i'll probably do another makeup look with that one i feel like everybody is using that pink shade i want to go into palm so I'm going to take this from Kaya Cosmetics number no. 4 and I want to go into this dark brown shade called Palm. Oh, it's very, very pigmented. Woo! I want to work that into my crease. See, this one looks a little bit patchy. Let's see if we can blend it a little bit better. This one almost turned gray on the, over this eyeshadow, these other eyeshadows. I don't know what I feel about that. It's a little bit hard to blend, but it's not impossible. I'm going to go back with this Anastasia's brush and try to blend a little bit more. Going back in that coastline. Okay, so I did spend a little bit of time blending it and it's not impossible blending, but I don't really think that I like this shade on top of the others. It kind of turned gray. Yeah, I can make it work. So I want to cut the crease and let's use this canvas. Okay, so I'm excited because I want to go in right now in this seaside shade that it's a little bit grayish, this shade here and pack that on. And I'm going to use dry brush, and this is 305 from Linda Halberg. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful shade. I don't know if you can see it. I want to go into se seashells, I think it's called, this nice blue shade. And take the same brush and place it next to this. Oh, wow. Oh my god, this is a beautiful shade. Look at this pigmentation. And this is a dry brush. I didn't wet it or anything, but it looks stunning next to this grayish shade. That looks beautiful. Okay. Let's go now to Mediterranean, something like that, this one shade. This nice blue gray purple shade that I think looks very very beautiful and place that here oh wow well, there is a little bit of fallout with this shade but I don't mind oh this is a stunning shade mm, I like that this three are beautiful together so i'm going to go back with this palm brown shade and kind of deep up the corner and blend the edges a little bit actually what i want to do is to finish my makeup and or my face makeup and i want to get back to this palette to finish everything 
because I think I want to use the pink one in my lower lash line. That's a risk or the yellow one. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the yellow one. You need to continue watch to see that. So I actually love this makeup look more after applying my face makeup, but I don't usually use or do eyeliner because I do have very hooded eyes and it kind of takes away a lot of my work from my eyelid. But I want to try and to put this purple as my eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this on a eyebrow brush from, oh, that's very powdery. And I'm going to wet it. To see if we I can create a make eyeliner and stab that very close to my lash line. Oh wow, I don't know if you can see it, but this is pigmented. Amazing. So these lashes are from Pract. They are called Amor. And yes, Amor. And I know this one is a little bit longer than this one. See past that, it's too late for me to start cutting and making it right. But I'm loving this makeup look. Let's go on the lower lash line. And actually, I have no idea which one I will use. I think I'm going to take Monte Carlo first in the lower lash line and I'm going to take that with this Anastasia brush that we used this side and it's this shade here the pink oh wow so pigmented so I'm going to blend a little bit more of that shade but I'm actually going to blend it a little bit lower and I really, really want to go into Bahamas, this bright pink with the same brush, a lot of pigment. Oh, oh wow. That is so beautiful. Very, very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, well, let's go into in with a smaller brush and go in with this sales white shade and pop that under our eyebrows. Ooh, that's pigmented. And I actually am curious to go in with this um, gold shade on that brush and apply it. Yes, this works. Pop of color. I don't usually go with yellow shade in my teardrop, but why not today? I'm not going anywhere. That looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to go now, really go now, and I'll pop some mascara on and I'll be back. So guys, this is the final look. I love it. I think it turned out beautiful and I love this palette. It was very easy to work with. I think the colors are stunning and perfect for this spring and also perfect for the summer. I think you, you can pop any of these shades all over your eyelid and have that nice, smoky, colorful makeup look. I will definitely create some uh, more makeup looks with these purple and pink shades because they look beautiful. And I think I, I did an amazing job with this palette. It was so easy. These all three shades that I have on my eyelids kind of worked beautiful together and have that... Stop texting me. And have that nice ombre look. 
I love this makeup look. Love, love, love. I love this palette. Like I love all of the Anastasia's palette. I think this is definitely one of my favorite palettes. And I do like this texture. It feels like fabric. Friday is going to be stained, but I like it. I like it a lot. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please let me know down below if you tried this palette, are you interested in trying this palette? Or are you like not interested at all? And uh, let me know if you want to see me creating a makeup look with this palette. And if so, which color would you like to see on my eyelids? And yeah, that was guys everything. I hope you like this. Don't forget to so hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell. And don't forget to enter my giveaway that I have on my channel. It's international. It's for all of my family members. One of you is going to be a winner. And yeah, that was all. Thank you for watching and I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye.